guys welcome back to the channel how are you all doing this episode as you can see uh, if you have been following or following me for some time you already know that i have reviewed this fragrance before based on a broken sample yes uh, dramatic uh, the day very same day that actually i had a full-on uh, 2ml official sample of this particular fragrance uh, petite matin or metit matin uh, however it goes i had a sample of this fragrance and i really 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 love it so much I was so excited one morning. I was just uh, using it as a scent of the morning and I dropped the sample. It just, you know, it, it looked like something like this actually. Like these samples, they, they come in very securely, but this kind of sample, it just fell and then broke. It was very uh, heartbreaking for me, but I went on with the review anyway, but I couldn't spray the fragrance. I did review it, so I'll do a relatively shorter video today and I'll show you the bottle once again. And I'll tell you why I love this. You guys already know I love this fragrance. This is my most favorite fresh fragrance from house of mfk so thanks once again to my brother uh, for providing me with this bottle he always watches out you know like wherever i'm missing something he tries to fix it <laughs> so he's my guardian angel sort of and i really love him for everything he is and he does for me so this is a tester bottle uh, this is a 70 ml bottle and i believe it has <clears throat> like similar sort of a presentation with the last few episodes that i did on the fresher fragrance of mfk so the bottle looks like that the cap actually is still has the rusty feel uh, it looks like it's dirty or rusty you have to wash it but no this is the design of the bottle cap and it will have uh, the initials the cap it pretty much snug fit i mean i think so but it doesn't click onto place so i would rather be careful handling them because these are expensive and it says the name here and the house name right there and the bottom looks like that with the sticker and everything and I really believe these fragrances are um, kind of on the expensive side. I think this one, the particular 70 ml one in Bangladesh, it's around uh, $200 below a little bit. And uh, bigger bottles, $200, I mean, sorry, 200 ml. If you buy of these fragrances, then you're going to get better value on any of the MFKs, that is, uh, as uh, the price per ml will be less. So I think you can get for 300 bucks, you can get a 200 ml of this, which is a better value. So yeah, look at the juice color, it's very nice. It's kind of yellowish, okay? Kind of yellowish, greenish, and there's a sticker at the back here, somewhere at the side. So that's pretty much it. So I have this fragrance on my hand, on my left hand. Oh man, that smells good. <laughs> and this fragrance, uh, it's not a brand new release. It has uh, been released quite a few years ago. It's a release for both men and women, suggested for summer and spring. And it's very soft, kind of like, if you saw Sebastian Zara's review, he said, it's a fragrance that you want to wear first thing in the morning. Something that in line with Mugler Cologne, like Mugler, Thierry Mugler, you know, like he uh, went to a trip in foreign country and then he stayed in a hotel and then he picked up the inspiration for his Mugler Cologne. After that, you also saw Original Betty where I did review a lot of fragrances based on Neroli. This is a Neroli bomb. I did a Ferrari Bright Neroli, if I can remember right, Bergamo 22, which is uh, also citrusy. So a lot of this citrus-based fragrance, if you love, a surge of Neo. If you love those, this is a fragrance you might definitely check out. So this, as I told you once again, this is my favorite fragrance, fresh fragrance from this line. Many people wouldn't agree because we have acquired taste and fragrance are actually acquired taste. People, different people like different things. So this is a citrus floral sort of a fragrance, very soft in nature and it stays classy throughout the whole journey of like whole uh, fragrance life. Uh, longevity on this, it's not as beast mode as uh, Echo Universalis or Universalis Forte. Those are beast mode. This one I get like uh, about six hours in total. Those would get you 10 hours plus. So the fragrance, what does it smell like? So when you spray it for the first time, I really love the opening burst of it. You know, like uh, let's let's try it here once again. The dry down is already uh, just go a little bit. How many sprays with this? I think this fragrance you need still, even though it's a soft, fresh fragrance, you, you do not need. 10 sprays of it okay uh, you need like uh, to make it best outcome i would say two maximum three one on the back of your neck one on your clothes to it will hold it better perhaps one on your arm somewhere here not here i'm doing this for testing purpose but i suggest usually here or in your pit here so it will stay throughout the whole day once once you wash your hand these fragrances they actually disappear from the hand so this fragrance who is it for as i told you both men and women okay but it smells a little bit more feminine than masculine to me because of its soft nature so when you smell it for the first time that burst energetic burst of neroli lemon it has few more notes like uh, 
some florals let me see let me tell you the full notes breakdown i have it here um this fragrance has uh wait i think this has ambroxan as well wait italian lemon lavender orange blossom hawthorn musk and ambroxan okay so yes there is ambroxan but what you really get from this is like that neroli lemon uh orange floral orange flower neroli same thing that on the opening burst it's gonna be there for good 10 to 15 minutes so then you know it's it will start changing towards floral and then a little bit of lavender will come in and the lavender is kind of like clean lavender it doesn't smell like a synthetic lavender okay it doesn't smell like a floor uh, like floor cleaning product um when to wear it best time to wear it is in the morning as it suggests there's an evening version of it uh, i if i get it i'll review that one and it's just lovely but one thing you know i'll just tell you the fragrance it has kind of like a softness about it so many guys who are very masculine like sort of kuros something like on aventus something you know like tuscan leather bit bold they might find it um, underwhelming not like uh, their uh, cup of tea so there is kind of like i don't know why the fragrance is just uh, it just worked with me you know it's just i love it so much because you you just like what you like it doesn't matter what's the note breakdown who likes it what kind of love it gets, hate it gets, I don't really care, but this is a lovely fragrance, safe fragrance, but on the heart, there's gonna be a lot of florals, okay? As well as you see that, um, what else is there? That lavender, you know, and this was the floral, Hawthorne, yeah, musk. This fragrance notes makes it a little bit like soft in nature. So if you do not like florals, in the dry down, it will go to a little bit of floral side. But uh, I would suggest get an official sample to see if it works with you. Any of this fragrance in this house is not cheap. So I love my most favorite in this house is Grand Soir. Uh, but many people like Oud Satin Mood, Baccarat Rouge, you know, different things. But my favorite is um, that one, <laughs> Grand Soir. So this one is my, perhaps my, in top five. If you call about, talk about whole MFK house, the ones that I tried, this is definitely my top five. Um, where to wear it? You can work, use it for your work purpose, daily purpose. You can wear it in the daytime also. Very fresh, it'll just relax you and uh it smells very classy and elegant as well it doesn't smell quite cheap it has a little bit of resemblance with neroli portofino as well uh, ferrari bright neroli as well as mugler cologne original vetiver but it stays classy you can smell the quality in the fragrance very smooth uh, high quality ingredients and very nicely blended so these are some of the best things about this fragrance but the push is not going to be so much the projection is about one hour soft projection it's a uh, in that way it's kind of like you can call maybe the projection is kind of moderate so overall this fragrance is again masterpiece for me so i give it 10 easily i give it 10 because this is this works with me right but you definitely need to get a sample see if it works for you perfect to wear in springtime i guess okay so this is petite matin petite matin by house of mfk that's my review tonight i will do one more review hopefully i want to hopefully wait for that as well see you soon bye bye